Okay, so today we're going to learn how to insert a book cover image into a book that you upload to the Amazon Kindle. Now this is really important. The HTML file that you're going to upload to Kindle needs to be in the exact same folder that your image file is that you're going to then insert into this HTML file. So they're going to need to be in one place on your hard drive because eventually you're going to zip that up and then upload it to Kindle, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I've already converted my book into an HTML file simply by copying and pasting all of the text from Mac pages into a Mac text edit file. Then do a save as HTML. Now I am using a Mac, but if you are on a PC, you could probably do a Microsoft Word to Notepad as a similar conversion. So now that you've converted your book into an HTML file, whether it's using Mac text edit or WordPad, you're going to open that HTML file in Dreamweaver or whatever HTML editing software that you may have. Now you're going to insert the image as you would any other image in Dreamweaver by doing insert image browse to it and again it should be in the same folder already where this HTML file that we're currently editing is saved. Now as you can see the image is really huge so let's change that to a Kindle friendly size let's say 500 width by 700 height You'll want to center the image by using your basic HTML center tags before and afterwards. Now just a quick note, I'm going to add a page break after my image. You may notice that the page break code that I'm using is mbp colon page break. This is the code you're going to need to put into your HTML file wherever you want a page break in Kindle. Kindle doesn't use page numbers since users can choose their own font size. So this is the code you're going to need to put into your HTML file to denote page breaks between chapters or to separate pages at the front of your book, such as the dedication, the title page, and so on. So again, this is the code you need to put specific to Kindle. It's mbp colon page break. Now you want to save this HTML file. Now go back to the folder where this HTML file and the image that you added, where they live on your hard drive. This is the most important part. You're going to zip this up and upload it. So the way you zip it is you just right click on that folder where your HTML file and your JPEG are. Choose compress. Okay, so now your HTML file and your image are zipped up into one single file. Okay, so now we're ready to upload it to Amazon Direct Publishing. In order to do this, you do have to create your account, which I have already done. You're going to edit the details. You have to choose whether or not to enable digital rights management before you upload anything. Now we're going to browse to that zip file that we just created and choose that to upload. And click upload. So now you can see Amazon Direct Publishing is converting your zip into its own Kindle format. This does take a little while, so don't stop or reload your browser while this is happening. Okay, good. Now our upload and conversion were successful. So to make sure that your image was loaded properly, click Preview Book. And you can see the image for the book cover that we just loaded. And you can scroll through and make sure that your formatting is okay. Now this will work with any number of images that you put into your book. It's just important that your images and the HTML file are all in the same folder. You zip up that single folder and upload it as one zipped up file. Now just click save and continue and you're on your way. And so that is how you insert an image into an Amazon Kindle book.